in the state capitol, the Horseshoe in Columbus, Ohio, will be the battleground for today's game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First and 10, ball on the 44. Fakes to the back. Tackle at about the 41. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41. He tackles him for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. to the tailback. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 23. That makes it second and eight. Little handoff. Decent run here, right side. So we're looking at another third down here. The crowd really making it difficult. Just throws this one away. Oregon is looking to go up by three. It's up. And it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Ohio State's coaches admitted to us that they game plan around this guy. It's kind of different for a wide receiver. It's usually a running back or a quarterback, but he's paid off for him so far. He really has, and I, I found it very refreshing as we travel around the country and, and visit with so many of these players to find a high-profile wide receiver who's a selfless guy. He's a great leader from everything that they've told us. He's a guy that wants to go out there and make sure that the team gets the win first before he gets his catches. Kind of a rare breed in today's game of college football. Football, but he's an exceptional player. First guy on the field and the last guy off in practice. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down right around the 32 yard line. That makes it third and three. He lets it go. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Hitman awaiting the return. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Oregon is up a field goal. Here we go. Right in. Right. Nice run up the middle. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They can't hear a thing down there. Tackled after decent pickup. And they convert the first down on that run. Now the key to that play is a good blocking up front by the Hog Mollies. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Set! Blue 14! Blue 14! And down he goes, around the 47-yard line. That makes it second and 10. some open field and they make the stop around the 27 yard line first down 10 yards to go ball on the 27 yard line Tackle made right around the 30. Oregon has a three-point lead. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Everyone 
Jones all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They'll give it off here. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 46. To the right and tackled immediately. out to his receiver and he's tackled right around the 34. First and 10, ball on the 34. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Run left side. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Quick throw, brought down at the 28. About five yards that time on the throw. Anytime a quarterback sees zone coverage, this is a very easy and comfortable throw. There's plenty of room to work for the receiver. He's able to get out of his cut and get the football out on the edge. They're about four yards away here on third down. He's hit and taken down. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedster. Very good tackle in space. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. It's the ninth play of the drive. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up, and it is good. Ohio State is ready to kick it away. He'll return it from the one. And he's taken down at the 25. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Oregon is up by three. And he's immediately tackled. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. 
Gets it out. He's met immediately. crowds in the country and they are on their feet fires that quickly incomplete that's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline and now they get the ball back Wilson is back deep to return Wilson fields it at the 27 he makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. The Ducks really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Ducks lead 6-3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Gets it out in a hurry. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. the 27-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Cavalry's coming. Rose complete touchdown. And he hits the PAT. It was a quick three play, 54 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, you're gonna move the ball at will when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are gonna lead you to touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20, gets out to about the 21. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They get nice yardage on that run. This is so difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. Gives it right side. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at the 38. They get four yards on that pass play. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Oh, 
Wilson is back deep to return the punt. And this one is a beauty. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Ohio State's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star-type game right now, and yet they got the lead here, and we're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half of being over and to see that their go-to wide receivers not putting up these big numbers, and yet they still have the lead, just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the team makes these receivers stepped up. About four yards on that play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. It's second and six. Ball on the 33-yard line. Ohio State is up by four. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Taken down around the 46 yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 46. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 21 yard line. First and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. Illegal touching. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. With a quick throw. And he pulls it down. He's tackled right around the 10 yard line. From the 10 yard line, first down. Ohio State is up four. Gets to about the eight yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Nice run and he's brought down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Taken down at the two-yard line. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions.
Handoff. Brought down quickly. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 28. Play fake, looking to run. He's to the 40. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Gain of 16 yards. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Nice gain as he works to the right side. That makes it second and six. Set, Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. From the 28 yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 19. And this play is number eight on the drive. He zips it out to the left. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. So they get about three on the draw. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Big hit, he stopped in his tracks. So they go to the air and pick up six. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Up the middle for a nice game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That makes it seven and six. Brought down the 37 yard line. That brings up 
So we're looking at another third down here. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Well, that's a big-time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. He fields a punt at the 20, and down he goes at the 35-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. From their own 35-yard line, third down. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Brought down in the open field. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Ohio State is up by four. And they hit him in the backfield. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The Buckeyes lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Ohio State is up four. Quick throw. Tackle at the 29. That's good there. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 29. Nice run there. That'll make it third and one. Watch the run, watch the run. Here we go. Out. Here we go. There's the strike complete. I think the defense that time was, was really anticipating and expecting a run. And I think it was a good time to call the pass. It wasn't a huge result as far as the play and how many yards they got, but they did pick up the first down, and I think they caught the defense that time napping. 
from their own 38-yard line. First down. Zips it to the back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. That'll make it second and long. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Third down again. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's taken down at about the 45. That brings us fourth and three. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. Room around the corner. He's taken down at the 28. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. On the handoff, big hit, and he'll lose yardage. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 28. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Zips it to the tight end, and he's stopped behind the line. Second and 13. Ball on the 36-yard line. They hand it off. Makes it to the 47. Gets to about the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, second down. And they get the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Field. Good solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Wilson is back awaiting the punt. And this one is a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Ohio State is up by four. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. 
Falcons on second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's tackled at the 33. He makes his way to about the 42. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. It's first down and a lot. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Ohio State is up four. Tackled after decent pickup. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. That's a loss of two. This is the eighth play of this drive. Five wide. Tackle made at the 18. And here's another third down. Strike to his receiver, no good. It's up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Ohio State's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. The defender had it and then dropped it. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage.
It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the 43. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Nice run up the middle. That's a That'll bring up third and two. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Listen to this place. Die gets the carry. Runs outside for a nice game. They hand it off again. A yard, maybe two on the carry. This junior corner's been progressively improving his run defense. He's better at diagnosing those plays now, and he knows how to bring a guy down. And this play is number eight on the drive. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 16-9, Ohio State. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. I doubt anybody will ever mistake this guy for a tailback, but he didn't look too bad running the ball there. From the 19-yard line, first down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. So the sack makes this a second and long. Got it, and brought down immediately. Play 13 of the current drive. He zips it. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. What have they come up with here on third and very long? The offensive coordinator and the quarterback know. Let's see if they can convert. The crowd at this stadium, always a factor in a football game. Brought down around the 17-yard line. to about the 17-yard line. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Ohio State up seven points. They'll give it off here. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 19. Up the middle for a nice game. Fights forward to about the 26. Gain of two on one play. That'll make it fourth and two. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Under heavy pressure. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And they'll get him in the backfield. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Third down, and they need to get it inside to 47. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. He steps up with a quick throw. Picked off. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Ohio State is up a score. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. at the 21. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. Second down and 11. Ball on the 21-yard line. Inside the 10. Gains his way to the 7-yard line. some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he hits the PAT. So a four play, 32-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The score now, 23-9. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. As a man, he'll lose big yards. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From their own 20-yard line, second down. He's out to the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Hand off on the counter. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. It's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six on the play. First down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Double tight. Double tight. Double tight. Double tight. Feeds it to the back. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 39. Now he's scrambling. Fumble. Looks like the offense has it. They'll bring him down at the 47. He makes his way to about the 32. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Might have been some early movement up front. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. First and 15 now after the penalty. Quick strike, and he drops it. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. He's wrapped up for the sack. Just under three to go in regulation. He's scrambling. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. You know, if I'm calling the plays for this offense based on what happened last series, I just continue to go back and run the football. Force this defense to show that they have the ability to stop you from running before you adjust your own play call. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. 
Stroud gets six yards after taking it himself on the option. They're about four yards away here on second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Loss of one there for the halfback. Oregon will take their first time out of the half. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. He's tackled at the 40. The halfback picks up a yard. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. Five wide. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. That makes it third and 11. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Here's the eighth play of the series. Ohio State's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.